Well, the lighting concept is, before all, based on Sana's architectural choice, which is to have a zenithal natural light. And I'm totally fond of that position. It's the one I had implemented for the Islamic Art Museum in Cairo, where I wanted also natural light to come in. The black jewelry box with a ray and a beam of uh, light shining onto the single floating artifact in the dark, I think this is over. There was this strong will from the architect to have a natural daylight so that the artifact could, you know, be part of the building, be part of the space. And from there, what I did with the light designer, we tried very similarly to say, okay, let us try to give the emphasis, enhance the artifacts that requires to be enhanced, but give the illusion that it's the natural light that gives that support. We've developed a single system really for both, the temporary exhibition and the permanent exhibition. We had to design for both conditions and make sure that the system we worked with the architect to create would work for both conditions or could create both conditions. So we have the daylighting system on the roof, it's quite open for the permanent exhibition. They can control how long it is displayed. They will rotate some of the more sensitive artworks so that they're not there all year round and limit the exposure to light. And then the temporary exhibitions where often it's borrowed works or it's works that are more sensitive to light. At the moment it's more closed, but it is the same daylighting system on the roof, which is just more open in one case and more closed in the other. The real goal for lighting designers is to create a lighting scheme where nobody talks about the lighting. They just come, enjoy the space, do exactly what they want to do, and then go home and think that was a great experience. And that's what I want to achieve, that's what I dream to do.